Welcome back. Welcome back. It is day 15 of the 21 for 21. I hope people will come and join me. We'll see. It's the end of a long week, but I am excited to get going with our 20 for 21. So here they come. We've got Elena. We've got Marty. We've got Deb. I'm excited. I hope people are too. Hello. How you doing, Deb? How you doing, Elena? Hi, Hi Marty. Thanks for joining us. You ready to dive into our 21 for 21 today? Yes. So here's the interesting topic of the day. Da -da -da. Has anyone read the blog? Not sure if you have, but I want to share our 21 for 21. It is what schedule it. What doesn't get scheduled doesn't get done. So what didn't get done this week that has to carry forward to next week? I want to invite you to think about your list of to do's that might go into the list of next week. And I think it was, I want to say it was, um, I think it was actually Peter Drucker who said, what doesn't get scheduled doesn't get done. And I see this happening all the time, right? This morning, I had actually meant to sit down at my desk to like send out an email super early. It didn't go out till later in the morning, which was fine, but I didn't schedule it, right? I sort of was like, I'm not going to open my, I came to my office this morning with like a singular focus. It was like, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do something else. I got that other thing done, but unfortunately I didn't get the one thing that I'd said I would do last night. So think about what's going to help you um, getting things done as you move on. So that is our day 15, and we are now at the end of the week. Just a reminder, there's the weekly planner page. Does, did anyone use that last week? And I'm going to stop oh, the show. Yeah. Yeah, what was your experience of using it last week, Marty? Yeah, I kind of kept, I kind of kept, um, I kind of kept, uh, kept, kept me up to looking at what I needed to do for the week and what hadn't been done yet and what still had to be done. And I noticed you saying, maybe it was on Facebook, that you got a lot done this week. You kept moving. Uh, no, I didn't really get a lot done. In fact, I'm kind of in the messy middle. I'm confronting the things that aren't working out the way I planned. So <laughs> but, that's but, I, but, I, but, I have, but I'm certainly using the tracking. That's one of the big things I've gotten so far. Good, 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 good. Well, I hope you're all using the tracking. Is anyone else using the tracker every day to see your progress? What I thought was interesting this week, we had different themes emerge, right? Some people were saying midweek, you know, it's like interesting how long time things certainly take with time. Yeah. Um, one of the yeah. things that I'm always amazed is you start down a path and it's always a bit longer. But the good news yeah. is 21 yeah. for 21, you've done a lot more. So we've got Yan coming back. I will bring Yan into the room. And Julie asked, I missed where we can get the tracker. So I think Julie, the tracker was available way back on one of our first few days. It's in two places. It's in the Facebook group. So the virtual and remote visionaries hub, just Google 21 for 21 tracker. And some of you prefer not to be on Facebook, which is fine. I've got the conversation sparker zone and I've got that set up as well. So if anyone needs a link, let me know. And before you leave today, I will get that to you. Conversation Sparker Zone is simple. It's just conversation hyphen sparker dot mn, like Mary Natalie dot co. Conversation hyphen sparker, no s, dot mn dot co. So that might be the easiest place to go. All right. What do people need before they get into their work today? What do you need? Do you feel like me and you really need a bit of a like firecracker for Friday? Because it's yeah. been a long week. <laughs> I'm ready to go. I started, to go. My, I started my item before we got on here and I'm like, let me get back to it. I'm ready to go. <laughs> okay, you're ready to go. I was, that's actually when I came into the room, I, I said I was going to do some writing work. So that's what I did this morning. I have 14 pages left to look All at. All right. So that I could actually finish this edit by the end of our 21 minutes. So oh. with that, let me just go to share our screen because I think we really just need to go there. We'll talk Amplify later. 21 minutes. I'll see you back here in a few. Take care. Please take off your video.
All right. Welcome back. So that is it for the sprint. Who got stuff done? Are you still working? Deb, did you get everything done on your list? I didn't get everything done, but I made good progress. I'm writing a blog post and I got quite a bit done. Okay. Well, you were quite eager 21 minutes ago. So did you maintain that energy <laughs> on a Friday afternoon? I did. I, did. I tell you, I felt like I was starting to tank, but then I'm realizing I'm almost done. I'm almost done. At least <laughs> this part of editing before I'll spend a weekend putting this in the computer. So, but it's done. I've gone through my 314 pages. Mm. <laughs> a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. But considering it sat there for so long, I feel good. It took what, 15 days, but I got it done. Whew. So Marty, what did you get done? Well, I went into GoDaddy and read some material on marketing. And it's, uh, it was good to read. I have more to read and uh, there's a lot to do. Yeah, a well, little bit at a time, right? Little yeah. Bit at a time. Miss Julie, what did you get done today? I was able to finish editing a video and then I am in the process of waiting for it to upload to YouTube and download the file, so. Nice. That's exciting. Here comes Melissa. She's maybe coming for our last part of the day. Elena, you stayed up late. It's getting very late there. What did you do tonight? She looks like she's in bed. We've got you on mute. We'll get you to unmute. I'm happy to say that I wrote down some notes because I had uh, three sessions today and uh, um, I shared many important topics with my clients so I had to make sure I had in my mind so I, I did it. Ooh, all right that feels good at the end of the week right to get everything done and notice so oh you found it Julie Julie found the tracker and where did you find it Facebook did you find it or did you find it? Yeah, Facebook. There's a lot of things. Yan's got FedEx in the background. So that's okay, Yan. You just go do what you need to do. Melissa, welcome back. We did our 21-minute um, sprint. So I was asking, you know, how are people's weeks? How have they gone? How has your week been? It's just been, I mean, I can't tell you. I just came in. I had to actually attend a Zoom funeral um, for someone who died of COVID. And it was exactly, it just ended and... Um, and I didn't know her well as my husband's friend's mother, but at any rate, um, it certainly brings to light, you know, I don't know, just really grabbing our time and, and appreciating it. And I really just wanted to tune in because this has been so important to me, this group and this time, and it's added this structure that I've really just found invaluable during such a chaotic time in our, our lives. And I think as an entrepreneur, solopreneur, I find it extra valuable because I'm just someone who does better with structure and I need it. I really need other people to keep me accountable. So well, thank, thank you. you. And I'm sorry that you had to come from such a meeting, but yeah, life, life is happening in rapid pace these mm -hmm. days. You've invested right. time, you know, and we'll continue to invest a few more days in this process. I've been really on the fence. You know me, I'm like, I love structure. I do best when I have structure because I've always worked in that, in like chaotic environments like this. And I've learned that for me to thrive, I need routine. So I, again, I am fully committed to April as the next 21 for 21, but I may come back February 1st and say, let's mm -hmm. do it again for another month. I need a few weeks off to take the break, but I hope that people will continue during this next bit. We've still got six days left of the sprint. <clears throat> so as you move into this last week, I want you to do a couple of things. One, I want you to notice your numbers. So if you are tracking, notice like the big projects you've gotten done, notice what's still left. And if you haven't felt like you've got traction lately, maybe pick a new project, right? I'm thinking, what will I do next? Starting tomorrow, I'm going to move to book two of uh, that I'm editing. So like I've been really quagmired with book one because it's the book that sat there for a long time and uh, I had to get it done. Book two, I think is going to be faster. I might even get that done within a week because it's my more favorite book and I will never tell people who, which one it is, but um, it's just like, <laughs> we got to get stuff done out of the way before we can have the fun, the fun part as well. So I have a fun piece, which is the Wheel of Names. 
So I'm hoping that I got everyone's name. Deb, I had you down because you made some comments this week. Julie, were you commenting anywhere? I didn't see you in the Facebook group. Did you put any comments in? Okay, good. I was like, didn't see Julie in there. But Melissa, I think you've got, yeah, you were there. Elena, I think I've got you on the wheel. Yan is there and Marty is there. So that's good. I have a few other names. I just want to just open my window here and... We're gonna do a draw for a wheel of names. It's not gonna be a product today, but it will actually be 15 minutes of coaching with me on whatever you would yes. like coaching around. So it could be business, it could be, could be anything. So let me see if I can go into the right screen because literally I've got 25 windows open. <laughs> <laughs> a little horrifying. <laughs> so let me, I'm actually gonna stop sharing. Okay, what can I go into? <laughs> I could probably go into this. This will not tell you where I am. Okay, so I'm gonna go, you can see my Dropbox now. Let me stop my share, Just share over top. I'm gonna to go into Dropbox, uh, but it is not in Dropbox. So well, let's go like this and, uh, oh, that's not what I want. Okay, let me, sorry, just gotta give it, give me one minute, I had this open. Uh, so, oh, it's over here, okay. And I will go here. Let's see if it will come up. Wheel of Names, it's called. Wheelofnames.com. But you know what? I think I'm in the wrong browser. I'm in the wrong browser. Yeah. I, this was last week's browser, though. So let's just use this one. We'll just use this one and see what plays out. Because I think everyone other than Dale actually commented this week. So who is the winner? Marty. Marty. Oh, yes. <laughs> so Marty, Yay. you know where to find me. You will have do. minutes of coaching. You can coach on your GoDaddy stuff. You can coach on whatever you want. Oh, yeah. Time. Yeah. You just oh, yeah. when you want me to, uh, to <laughs> actually be doing that. So that's a little fun piece. And next week, we'll do another draw. Friday Wonderful. of next week will be our last afternoon together for this round. And just a few notes, I'll be here this weekend. And I will also, okay, so this weekend, 12 noon, Monday, 12.15. Okay, I'm with a group until 12.15 Eastern. Uh, Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday is 12. Thursday is going Tuesday, to no. be 3 o'clock. I had, I had down Wednesday at 3 o'clock. Oh, did you? Let me, thank you, Marty, you might be better. Well, my uh, yeah, my... What else did you have, Marty? As I fade out. Um, I have a question as to whether that's because there's something big happening in the United States at noon on Wednesday the 20th. And I wondered if you were moving it because of that or a luck. If not. It's inauguration day, isn't it? Oh my goodness. It, it is at noon, at noon. And so I wondered if you, if that was just if, no, if it was, was if it was by accident, that was very good. Yeah, well, I won't well, be on is, at noon. Yeah, you know what? You could go to that event because I'm going to another event. No, it's something okay. else. Okay. Okay. That I have. I I will be doing three o'clock on Wednesday. Actually, three o'clock on, on Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay. And then you said Monday is twelve fifteen. So yes, let's go through the week. So Monday is twelve fifteen. Tuesday is okay. twelve o'clock. Wednesday is three p.m. And Thursday is 3 p.m. And Thursday will be our 21 for 21. That will be like that. So super like, woo, that's, let's celebrate and party. And we'll do something special on Thursday afternoon. And that's at 12 noon on Thursday. And that's at 12 noon on Thursday. Okay, good. Thank you. So I want to wrap and then, I'm sorry, Friday is 12 noon also or three o'clock? So Friday will be 22nd day. If anyone wants to stay with me. <laughs> You can come on back. I, as I said, I, I, I will, I may be back in February to do these, but yeah, Thursday will be our last day. So really think about what's going to get you over that finish line, right? We could keep going. And I think there's also a power. This is my reflection as finishing the edits. There's a power in taking a pause too, right? If you do too much of a good thing every day, it doesn't become special anymore. So, you know, the 22nd, you can meet me here maybe at three o'clock, but I will be in February starting uh, in the afternoon. I'll be starting the Amplify Virtually Mastermind. So that'll be sort of superseding everything. So yeah, Julie can't make it and you can't make it on Thursday, Julie. 
you'll be here or will you be here Friday? Yeah. So Thursday uh, is at noon. I had that for three o'clock. Yeah, Thursday yeah, is three o'clock. Yeah, Thursday is Oh, three good. Yeah, I can make three o'clock Thursday. Our last day together with okay. this. Thursday, minute. Wednesday, and Thursday are at three o'clock. Wednesday then. and Thursday are at three o'clock. Okay. Deb is okay. catch, trying to catch up. So yeah, just to recap, Saturday, <laughs> Sunday, 12 noon, regular time. Saturday, Sunday, 12 noon. Monday, 12, 15. Tuesday, back to regular time, 12 noon. Wednesday, Thursday, three o'clock. 3 p.m. Okay, good. Thanks. All right. So let's do a little something before the end of the week. I feel like I need my Rory story cubes. Let me see where they are. Stay one sec if you can, because I think we need a, I think we need a bit of a story to wrap up the week. I don't know about you, but it's been a week. <clears throat> so if you've never seen these before, these are called Rory story cubes. They are very cool little dice. I almost feel like we need to do nine today, but that's very selfishly me saying, let's go for a full story. Does anyone else have another number in mind between one and nine? They really full feel called four. Okay, Julie's going for four. So I'm just picking up the first four. And Julie, since you called four, here's what I'm gonna get you to do. I'm gonna start shaking them. You give me the hand signal when to stop. Tell me when to stop. No okay, stop. Stop. Okay, here are our images. <laughs> it's time or there's a clock. There's an eye focus. Often this is the icon for focus. There is a happy face. And then fire or maybe fire. Phoenix. It could also be the Phoenix. Yeah. So here's what we do with Rory Story Cubes. I want you to create a very short story for yourself. What do these four icons represent to you? Yeah. So take two minutes right now. Two oh, I've minutes. already got mine. <laughs> and and yeah. So me too. Of course, just be in silence so the rest of us can catch up to you. <laughs> You're speedy today. I'm not. Marta, you're cracking me up. <laughs> Does anyone need more time? <laughs> All right. Well, let's let's start. So who'd like to share theirs first? You don't have to share. Yeah, I'll do mine. You okay, Marty and then Julie. So Marty, yeah, Marty. <laughs> oh, it was very clear. It just fit all together right in the beginning. So it's time for me to focus on what is good about my business and have it be on fire. <laughs> all right I love that Marty you see when you put your mind to it you get you get stuff done and it all fits <laughs> together all right Julie what is yours mine came to me right away too it's time to focus on what makes you happy and energized Ooh, yeah I like that <laughs> now I saw Elena put something into the chat let's see fire represents a passion I have for coaching and I can see clearly that it is time to smile Time to smile to my life as a coach. Oh, yes, absolutely. So Deb or Melissa, what did you have? Go ahead, Melissa, if you'd like to go. Okay, mine, um, well, I, I just mentioned, you know, my time is precious and it's really all of our time is precious and to, and to really focus on the now and to find the joy 
And when I saw fire, I immediately thought of my son's, um, he used to be obsessed with fire things, like put on his hat or whatever, and he'd go, fire power. And so I was thinking, <laughs> fire power. And I thought, go for it. Cause I, I'm so risk adverse. <laughs> so I was just like rabid, let's go for it. Yeah. <laughs> let's go. That's your theme of the afternoon, right, Melissa? There right. Yeah, embrace it, embrace it. And Deb, what was yours? Okay, so this is my first time. I didn't really know how this goes, okay? So I said, I easily take time for granted, but want to keep my eye on the ball because my face gets distorted when I don't use my time wisely and I end up running around like my rear is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's great. That is so fun. Good. That is so good. I can't even top that, but I'll just say a little mine. So mine was like, it's time. This, this whole month has been about productivity and it's been really like, for me, it's been fun to come back into this wheelhouse of my business. Fire is my future self. So if you're a coach, you know how important the future self is. It's like that person you aspire to be. And when I started coach training 19 years ago, my future self's name was fire. And I think when I do my best work, I'm really like stepping into her and like activating people. And even though I wasn't feeling well this week, I had a couple of speaking engagements that people lapped on fire. Like they were on fire. And I just had a podcast released. You have to go listen to this. A year ago, I, a year ago this month, I sat down with Tara Nolan in the UK for her podcast. It's called uh, The Game of Teams. So it's all about team coaching. We sat down last January and she's like, can you talk about virtual gen and like, you know, virtual work and why it's so important. We did not know that the pandemic was coming. And as the pandemic shut down, it shut down the whole studio. She professionally does this in the UK. And so for like months, they couldn't release this episode. And so she decided she would hold it over to almost like the year of the anniversary. And she's just released it. So look at it, listen to it. I haven't listened to it yet, but I'm going to be fascinated to go back because, um, you know, like I think we've had time. We've had, and, and for some people, too much time on their hands, but we still have a little bit more, I think. So time, it's, uh, you know, finding the contentment and the I was finding the time to focus. So thank you for uh, being here with me in these last 15 days. We have six days left to go. And does anyone feel like they want to do a breakout before they leave to connect with someone? Are you feeling complete with our fire under our derriere? <laughs> <laughs> Who feels yeah, complete like they can head into their weekend? Yeah. If somebody wants yeah. to. I have a question. What are those um, dice that you have? So you can get them on Amazon. They're called Rory yeah. Story Cubes. Very oh. cool little something. They use them in writing, they use them in education. I use them all the time. And I hope that when things get back to whatever is next, I'll be able to go and create the 3D model of the dice. I'm planning to do a dice set. I had it all ready to go for remote work um, before the pandemic. And so it's just, it's one of those projects in the wings, but I think 2021, it's gonna come out. It'll be like specifically to remote work, so. With that, everyone, what do you leave in the week with, or this part of the week? Because hopefully you'll be back with me tomorrow. What's the one word to wrap up your week? Challenging yes, for me. Marty. Challenging for me. Challenging for Marty. Who's who else? Awareness. Awareness. Nice, Elena. What's your word of the week? Consistency. Consistency. Melissa. Recommitted. Recommitted. And mm -hmm. Julie. Finishing things up. Finishing, Finishing things up. up. And I'm, I'm, I'm energized and inspired. I feel reconnected with my source. So thank you. Have a great weekend. But I hope to see you tomorrow at 12 noon if you have yep. not nothing else to do. But if you want that little booster shot of getting stuff done, we'll see you then. All thank right. You. Take care, everyone. Bye. Bye. Have a good weekend. Bye. Bye. Bye.